I'm now stood outside the ABC Cinema, Shaftesbury Avenue. The cinema, in its present form, started as ABC, then went to Canon, MGM, EMI, and is now back as ABC Cinemas. There used to be a theatre many years back, before it was converted to a twin. And this used to be the Associated British Cinemas flagship cinema. Hi, I'm John Hughes, aka Noodles. We're here at Projection Box Number One at the ABC Cinema at Shaftesbury Avenue. And I'm just about to start my uh, advertisements. John, do you have DTS here? No, we no longer have DTS. Oh, that's a shame. Isn't it true that here you, you do a lot of sort of specials? Yeah, like many other people, we do quite a lot of press shows, cast and crew screenings, the occasional premiere. And you do a double head as well, don't you? Uh, we do do double head. Uh, quite recently we've done quite a bit of double head here. We're not purposely equipped for it, but you know, they keep moving the equipment and they get, get lots of work. And uh, yeah, it all goes fine. And John, did you not do the double head of Titanic before the print was finished? Yes, we did. There was a, a lot of hassle, uh, a lot of stress, but it was done as it was very much a last minute thing. It was originally booked in four other films, then they said it would be done at the 20th Century Fox preview theatre, then they found they didn't have the right mag head. So with just two hours, it was all rushed in here. We had to change all the projectors, the lenses, to be able to show Super 35mm and make the whole print up to be able to do the double head screening. But it did go successfully. So the print you had was not squeezed? No, no, it was full frame. And as you can see, we have the relatively popular Philips Patter system, which was adopted at most ABC or MGM cinemas. I like your portholes, John. Thank you very much. They're certainly a, a unique shape. They are, aren't they just? And they're quite deep as well.
And here we are in box two of Shaftesbury Avenue. And if you follow me round up here, this is where the second projector used to be. But due to the installation of the cake stand, had to rip that one out, I'm afraid, or involved knocking walls down. You see, DP75, again, with door. And can you show 70 mil down here, John? Uh, up until recently we could. Down here, you'll see a slight icon of a bygone era because all these amplifiers have the MGM logos on. And you see, what, one of the advantages of having a door is we don't have to touch the floor at all when we lace up. We can go straight from cake stand to cake stand and use the door as a buffer. 